I trained as a physio uh, by background and I joined uh, North East Essex about 19 years ago now. I came to the area as an international recruitee. I would encourage, I think, colleagues from the Black and ethnic minorities, I think, to take opportunities as they come. I think most people are afraid to take a step and the worst that could happen is you don't get the job. But if you don't try, you will never know. As you get into senior positions in the NHS, you don't seem to get lots of people of colour in, 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 in those areas. So I know sometimes it can be intimidating, but you just have to uh, give it a go and try. And in most cases, it's not as difficult as you thought it would be. And most people are always willing to, uh, to support. Impress is our network uh, in SNFT where you have the opportunity to have a discussion with our colleagues about different experiences, positive and negative, and how we can uh, support each other. Definitely willing to uh, have one-to-one uh, -one discussions or group discussions with people who are uh, thinking about moving into operational management. It is the best decision I've made uh, in my career. I'm fortunate to say over the 19 years now that I've worked uh, in the NHS, I've not had experienced uh, lots of uh, challenging or difficult situations because of the color of my skin. But what comes to mind was uh, as a young physio uh, years ago now in Brightling Sea, visiting one of my patients, as I you always do, uh, I went into the patient, used their uh, back uh, garden, because that was the instruction that the patient couldn't walk to open the door, so I went through the back door. And in the middle of my assessment, having uh, finished the assessment and writing my notes, having a good chat with the patient, we had a uh, loud knock at the door, a loud shout, please, please, and two policemen entered into the, into the house. Obviously, we were all shocked, and you would imagine as, as, as a black young man then, just the sight of police rushing in doesn't give you much confidence. And it happened uh, then that the na a neighbor had called the police because they'd seen me go into the house and assumed that it was the butler. The police were very apologetic, but that left me very, very shaken. I that day. I had to call the office to say there's no way I can continue with my day that day to go home. But that was a really scary experience for me. But fortunately, that was the only time it's ever happened to me. So. I know the uh, journey into management uh, can be uh, daunting as well. So I know when I took my first step actually uh, to go into operational management, I took a Ben 7 role to uh, manage one of the teams in the community. And what happened on my, on my first week in the new role, one of the senior, senior clinicians in that, in, in that job went to my manager and decided that they didn't want to be line managed by me. So given that they didn't know me uh, before, they've never worked with me, you'd only just think that, is it the color of my skin that is making them think that they can't be managed uh, by me? What uh, annoyed me actually there is the, my manager allowed it to, to happen and did not push back. Obviously as a junior manager then, I didn't have the confidence actually to, to confront my manager and have a discussion about it. We didn't have a network like Embrace that we have now that I could have had uh, those discussions. Fortunately, the staff member left uh, a few months in and uh, we continued as, you, uh, uh, as if everything was okay. But it's one of the things that I feel if there was a network then, I would have had an opportunity, I think, to have a discussion and get the confidence actually to challenge uh, my manager in terms of how they would have supported me and to confront the staff member actually to understand that it's normal to have uh, people from different backgrounds taking different roles and it's our responsibility I think to work together as well for the good of our patients.